seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're on the way with the men's junior road race and this will leave us just the elite women this afternoon and the elite men tomorrow. A massive full day of racing from 10 o'clock in the morning for the elite men over 254 kilometers. The course tends to wear down the riders seven laps uh, and 72 kilo 127 kilometers rather on this course for the juniors. It looks to me like they were rather anxious to get away there. The juniors uh, seem to hold no bounds here. They're going to attack this course, I'm sure. These are the two riders left to try and scamper to victory now. 6.4 kilometers to go. We're heading on to the last climb of the Mirador. Uh, 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 the rider is a German trying to reach uh, the leaders. And it, I think it's uh, Jonas uh, Boccolo who's been the rider up near the front all of the time. We know that Haller has been dropped. Boccolo comes up. Sivakor and Tassimov. Those are the riders going to the finish now. Sivakov looks over to see who's just joined them. And it is uh, Jonas uh, Boccolo. Inside six kilometers to go. The last climb to come. The last chance for the peloton to try and reach those three leaders. If they've got 10 seconds over the top, the chances are they won't get caught. The Italians here, now they've lost the man, have got to change the tactics and try and put another man in that group. They've gone with every group so far today. And as happened yesterday, that bend caught them out. But this time, it's Italy bridging the gap once more with quite a group. Jonas Boccolo at the front, slowing it down just a little bit here. And virtually together. Virtually together, his race up to the five kilometer mark to go. Seven riders in the lead. The two Swedish riders still there Lucas Eriksson, Hampers Anderberg. Three kilometers to go. It's all downhill from here on. The Swiss rider on the front now, Gino Meda. Fourth in the European Championship, Meda, and now racing for the world title, just off the front of this little group of seven. Well, this course has been unrelenting here, and if you're not at the sharp end two kilometers out, it's unlikely you'll win the race because it doesn't seem to come together on the final kilometer and a half on flat road. But they're right on the tail here, the peloton. It's still not done for at all. This is Gino Maida here, continuing to push to the limit down here. There can be no relaxation now. They've got to take risks on this descent. The peloton is on the tail. They're right on the tail of the bunch here. Still, uh, Gino Maida trying to ride them off, just like the Norwegian did yesterday in the under-23. Remember, they're on restricted gears. There's only so fast these boys can pedal on these roads, and Maida has the advantage here. Fourth in the European Championships, absolutely flying through the gaps. Looking for the last kilometre now. Is he going to hold them off? It's going to be a tough ask by the peloton to actually nail him back. He's going to go for a 1,000-metre sprint here, this Swiss rider. And what an incredible result it would be for the Swiss team if he could just stay away. They haven't had a winner in this championship since 1989 when Patrick Vetch was the winner. The camera foreshortens the view. He still has a lead here. He's being chased all of the way by Kurianov. As the field think they might have a sprint on the hands, they're beginning to line up. This man is just literally burying his head on his bikes as he races to the last 450 meters it is Kudyanov is going to reach him is he as they come into the right hand turn here two riders are clear he thinks he's got it as he races around the corner goes through on the bend takes the lead as he comes out 
the Swiss rider trying to get on the back wheel of the Russian and now he could get a perfect lead out to the line here as Kuri Anoff goes towards the finish Gino Maida on his back wheel 150 meters out it's going to be desperately close as they race towards the finish and as they come up to the line now, it is going to be a very tight finish, but is Curiana for Almeida going to get it? Because they are closing in right on the line. As they move up over to the line, they're going to be caught within sight of the finish here. And are the Italians still going to get it? As they know, it's gone to Germany. As they cross the line, it's Jonas Boclo who hit the line first there. And second, I think, was uh, Kulikovsky of Russia. It was desperately close. We can have a look again here. Watch for the white jersey of Boccolo. On the left here, from a very small group of riders as the two breakaways caught just 150, 125 out. Well, there's no doubt about that, is there? Boccolo gets the victory on the line and the Russian rider up on his right, Kulikovsky, in second place. A one, two, three. The Dutchman, uh, Peter Lendrink getting the third place finish there.